All right, here are 13 mistakes that I made growing up as an entrepreneur. And I don't want you to repeat it. So let's start. Number one is picking the wrong partner. When I say picking the wrong partner, there are two variants to it and I want you to carefully understand this. Variant number one is somebody you pick up who you are not able to work together. Like, for example, his thought process and your thought process doesn't match. His way of, uh, you know, communicating is, is something that you don't like. So as a person, you don't like him. That can be one definition of picking the wrong partner. The other definition of picking the wrong partner can be that you and the other person have the same skill sets. And quite often, believe me, we make this mistake. A trainer works with another trainer. A, a marketer works with another marketer. That's called, you know, picking the wrong partner. That's mistake number one. Mistake number two is lacking focus. A lot of times we, uh, you know, we start with a purpose and then we deviate or, you know, just because we get some other opportunity as an entrepreneur or, you know, we tend to drift there. So don't do that. When you are deciding your plot, which I call it as a plot is basically your niche, make sure that you focus only on that. Of course, you'll have challenges, but that is what will make you unique in your business. Number three, too much of planning, right? So spending too much time on planning. Just remember this golden line. It's not the planning that gives you results. It's the implementation of that planning that gives you results. So instead of, you know, planning all the time, plan a little and go ahead and implement it. See the results. Again, you can replan according to your results that you get. Number four, you know, blowing off investors' money very quickly. This is something that I did. When I got my investors' money, I thought, hooray, you know, I am on top of the world. I have the money now. I can do anything. And I did not have proper expenditure model on where I'm going to spend the money. So what happened was eventually the money ran out and, uh, you know, then I had nothing uh, to, to give back to the investors. So then I had to regroup. You know my story, okay? Number five is not spending too much money on marketing. This is a very, very, very common mistake that a lot of other entrepreneurs do. Even I did that. We believe that, you know, what if returns don't come? You know, unless we are concrete, unless we are sure about what marketing is going to happen, we will not spend money. Same goes with not spending too much money on self-educating about business. These are two uh, very, very big mistakes people make, even I made. Okay, number six, <clears throat> doing everything by yourself. And this is a classic example that I want you to share. Assume that, uh, you know, I know how to develop a beautiful WordPress website. Now, my question to you is, should I develop it or should I outsource it? And all the people who say, no, you can develop it yourself. Well, I can develop it, but I should not be developing. You know, entrepreneurship is not about you can do it or not. Entrepreneurship is about should you do it or not. So I should outsource the website is because that's not my core area. As an entrepreneur, I should outsource everything that I can actually outsource and focus on the core area, right? So this is a beautiful learning that you have. And by the way, let me pause and tell you that if you are somebody who is an aspiring entrepreneur and you want to learn more about entrepreneurship, of course, I cannot cover everything in this video. So what I've done is I have developed a free workshop for you. And the best part is this workshop most of the time is live. Okay, so I want you to click in this link, the link which is appearing here. I want you to click on this link and register and you will be invited for my next workshop. Okay, number seven, number seven, hiring uh, too quickly. You know, the, uh, you know, at times I've done this, at times I've done this, like one night before I'll be sitting and thinking, oh, you know what, I, if I get somebody to do this for me, that would be great. And in next two days, I would actually hire that person. Okay, don't do that is because you don't hire people for one task. Understand this. You don't hire people for one task. You hire people for the entire responsibility or part of the business. So if, if you have only one task to do, if you if you think that you know what you should do in that case, then you can go ahead and outsource it. But if you're hiring somebody, take full responsibility of it. Number eight, ignoring your finances. This is this is something again, very, very critical, which I did not understand for a very long time. I always thought my business is profitable, so I don't have to worry about my finances. But the whole point is today, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still not done my first million dollar. Why? I should have done my first million dollar, right? I'm not yet done. I'm okay with that. But that's a mistake. Why? Because I did not focus on my finances, my cash flow, my cash, uh, my, uh, you know, cash reserves, uh, you know, how am I burning my cash? All this is something as an entrepreneur, you need to make sure that you're doing it right. Okay. 
number nine neglecting your company's branding this is very close to the marketing but there's a difference between branding and marketing okay i will explain this and by the way here's a tip if you think i should make a detailed video about these points where i can show you how i made these mistakes what it costed me uh, after making that mistakes and most importantly how did i rectify these mistakes if you think i should make a detailed video about it go ahead pause the video comment it below and i'll be glad to make a long video where i'm going to educate you on how i made these mistakes how what it costed me and how i actually uh, rectified these mistakes and you know came back on my business okay so number uh, 10 not listening to the customers now when i say not listening to the customers just pause for a minute and you think what are the systems that you have created that lets you communicate to your customer or rather i would put it this way that what what system is there what platform is there what methods are there that the customer can actually communicate with you on how they feel about it now uh, for people who have been following me uh, even in elgo learnings which was my private limited company before you know the mistakes that i made there right so number 10 uh, number 11 trying to be perfect now this is something that I, I, I used to have this and uh, then you know I, I also watch this in a lot of new entrepreneurs who say you know what Fahim unless I am perfect I am not going to release it. Unless I am perfect I am not going to start. You know what you to become perfect you got to start. You cannot become perfect and then start. So the point number 12 is missing uh, your employees accountability or uh, you know I can also put it as hiring people who are not accountable for what they are doing never hire cheap resources okay that's my piece of advice and before going to the last piece piece of advice which is the most important and the worst mistake that I made what I want you to do is I want you to share this video with people who are aspiring entrepreneurs or who are already entrepreneurs in your circle just go there click on the share button and share it on whatsapp share this link so that they can watch it and I'll tell you why because I think that India has a great potential of entrepreneurs and the reason we are not able to generate a lot of entrepreneurs is because they are missing this knowledge. So I admire the way Harvard teaches, I admire the way uh, Stanford teaches and I am trying to get the same teaching method here and I am teaching people using YouTube and I cannot do it alone. I want your help to reach more people. So go ahead and share this with a lot of people as, pos as much as possible. So here's the top most mistake that I made when I was growing as an entrepreneur is lack of business model. Now a lot of times when I ask people about what is your business model, they have no idea. And you know what, I would love to make a video on how do you design a super solid business model no matter what business you are in, I would love to give you the framework. Now you know that it takes a lot of efforts to record this video, do the research, uh, edit the video and then you know go ahead and put it on social media. So I need your help. So do comment and do share this video. My name is Fahim guys. I hope this information is valuable. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have fun. Bye-bye.